Now, this is where it gets funny. You see, these people who I have invited into, they know me, but they know me as something different than you're going to see. You see, they've seen bits and pieces of me, but they've never got all of me. And most of the time, I'm walking around like this in Canada. You see, you gotta understand something about Canada because this is gonna be an international show that we're not quite like the Americans. You know, I know the Americans think that, you know, they're very uh, media oriented and they've had control of the media for the world and they seem to like a certain type of entertainment and a certain type of way of being that to Canadians aren't quite the same, right? If anyone has ever seen Corner Gas, that is how most Canadians actually live. And we like things very peaceful. See, that's the difference between the media, where our lives are rather dull. People say we're like the Belgium of Europe. I mean, Canadians kind of, everyone ran to Canada to get away from you guys, Europe, everywhere. I mean, everyone around the world kind of ran to Canada. Now, we've got a very mm, shady past, just like the Americans. You know, we, we want to portray ourselves as being, oh, so nice to the world. But, you know, the relations with the First Nations are a little weak if you look under the covers, which is happening now. So all of Canada is going, uh, history wasn't quite what we learned in school. Hmm. You know what I mean? But that's another thing. So I talk about things that are very mm, not so nice. And I'm bringing attention to things that aren't so nice, but I'm, I'm dressed so strange. I just don't fit in. Do you ever go to like somewhere and you dress up and you think you're looking great? And you walk in and you realize no one in the freaking place looks like you? And they all look the same? Do you know what that's like? But it's kind of fun. But it's a statement. What you wear is your greatest symbolic statement to the rest of the species. Like right now, everybody has the opportunity to choose their own worldview. You want to get locked in the worldview you grew up in and say, this is the only way the world is great. Be a Christian, be a Muslim, be Jewish, be whatever you want to be. But realize that you are in a worldview that isn't necessarily freaking reality to everybody else. Do you get that? Every human being has to get that. And you're probably going, what does this have to do with what the first video was talking about? Who the fuck is that guy? The, the guy in the beginning seemed kind of rational. You kind of seem to think that maybe this guy actually knows something. But then you see this and you go, well, wait a second. What am I getting into? Who is this person who says he has a plan? Right, because this is a video going after the video. There isn't a video that was an invitation to 20 superheroes to join Captain Sweep in the very secret plan. And the first video may sound like, well, that's a good idea. Let's just jump along in. The second video may go, well, this is why we don't want to participate. We have our own lives. We're doing our own thing. We don't want to freaking participate in your very secret freaking plan. 
Because <coughs> it may be too intense. We may jump into arenas that we're uncomfortable, or that we don't want to, or that we can. So you don't. Do your thing. This is built to integrate with your thing, what you're doing. Captain Sweep ain't some rookie. He ain't going to jump into the pond before you put your foot in. He wants you to have a good time. Truly, this is what I want. The 20 people I've invited here, and it's not the only 20, meaning if you do not say yes, Captain Sweep has other people that are more than willing to jump into this thing. Right? This is it. Captain Sweep didn't actually decide who the 20 were before. Very difficult to choose 20 people out of hundreds of people you know and love and respect and think the world of. So why these 20? That's a big question. Why these 20? What if you spent your time for the rest of your life with all the people that you love? You brought everyone into the room that you've ever loved, sat them down and said, guys, gentlemen, people, let's work together. <coughs> let's just build something that's good for everybody and learn how to cooperate. I love all of you. I know all of you. You are all amazing people. I've spent time with all of you and I can guarantee this to the world. I would vouch for all of these 20 people and go, these are good people. You can trust them. In fact, if you had them around, your whole lives would get better and better because these are great people, right? Good people aren't going to try to steal your shit aren't going to try to kill you, aren't going to try to ruin you or whatever the frickin' you see in all these media things all the time about humans that are frickin' crazy. And we honor them. But meanwhile, back at the farm in real world life, there are humans doing great things that nobody sees, nobody knows what they're doing. And if they watch those guys instead of all the people killing people, maybe our species would do a little bit better. Huh? And maybe if we just learn how we can change and ah, we got to go to video number three. I think Captain Sweep has said enough to the 20 to go. Okay, you went through video number one. This is the setup. This is video number two. There's seven videos you're going to watch before you're actually going to get into the plan because now is the qualifying process. Each step of the way, you have to decide, am I going to come into the very secret plan? You make a choice. Because it's like Morpheus with the blue pill and the red pill. When the superhero team comes together, life ain't going to be the same after. We have to make that choice of total commitment into our cause, total commitment into our future total commitment into what you want to be, who you want to be. As you come forward into stepping into your destiny, because everybody who participates, and at some point everyone can and will participate in our human, human species evolving and actually having a design plan that you design your ideal job, you bring in your ideal value system, you connect with others on a superhero team. You see how you can bring what you have, what you want to build, design it in the future, and then work with other people to actually create it together, not based upon money, but based upon your gifts, based upon who you are, based upon what you want to build, and then attract the wealth to you because you're so firm in your resolve of knowing what you are going to create, who you are, why you're here, what your philosophy is, what you stand for. 
like you've never had. Because you have to choose at some point within yourself to design your inner world. And that's the very secret plan is.